Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay. Thank you for joining me today. If you've never been here before, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I thought today I would go over what's in our morning basket. I've never done a morning basket before. This is new for us, but there were a couple things that I felt like we were missing last year in kindergarten. And I wasn't sure where to place them this year where we could get the review that I feel like he needs without making other subjects too long. Thus, the morning basket. I've seen videos of morning baskets and everyone kind of uses them for different reasons. A lot of people add more subjects in this way. I'm kind of using it more as a review for things that I want to solidify. So, um, this is our basket. I have, I'll insert a photo here of where this little area is. I have a window. Underneath, it's completely empty, so I stuck a little bulletin board underneath. And on apples, I wrote sight words. So we will be reviewing sight words and I'll switch those apples out as he learns those. I wanna make it more fun. So I'm thinking we could use a Nerf gun and he could shoot the words and say which word he shot or use bean bags or whatever, come up with a game or even cover up ones with post-it notes. Um, so sight words will be something that we're going over. And like everyone else says in their videos, we're not doing all of the things every single day, but, it, but I do in the week want to review the main subjects. So sight words, we need more practice on. Um, he needs to beef up how many he has memorized. And then also math facts. I, I think in one of my other videos, my Target haul, I showed that I got flashcards. I went back and got these containers. I think they're a dollar, a dollar. And I just put them in here. So I have addition and subtraction. I really want him to get fluent in basic addition and subtraction. For me to add in flashcards with math, it just seems like it's gonna make math too long. We use the good and the beautiful for math and even though we love it and I think it's great, the lessons are, we're like maxed out. Once the lesson is done, there's no way we can add any more. So flashcards at the beginning, really quick, all of this should be fast. We don't need to sit here and do flashcards for 20 minutes. It's probably five minutes and we move on. Same with sight words. Once he says them all, there are, hold on, sorry, beside me, 12, 12 words at a time. It should take a minute, three minutes. I don't know, it, really fast. Um, so it should be quick. I also have in here, if we want to use them, which I don't imagine we will use these right away, I have phonics cards from The Good and the Beautiful and Explode the Code. I have them both in here if we eventually move to these, but that's an idea for you for your morning baskets. There's sets of cards already available in addition to the sight words. So anyways, I don't think we're doing this right away, but I wanted to keep it in here for later. I also added this in more, he loves hot potato, but more as a reminder to myself to try to make these activities like quick and fun. And I wanna start the day out on a positive, good note. So hot potato could be fun to play. We could even pass it back and forth and practice math facts or sight words or our Bible verse. So I have in our hot potato guy in here. Um, Reading, oh my pen's gonna tip over I think. Reading, I'll have him pick out a book every time. Whatever he wants to pick out, we can read it. Last year we plowed through a ton of chapter books and for the most part that was great, but I did feel like we were missing out on just reading quick short stories and having that time. So I wanna add that in in the beginning. I also put in, he could pick instead of a book, we get highlights and Ranger Rick, and they're really, really good and we rarely have the time to read them cover to cover. 
So I put a bunch in here that I wasn't sure that we read them the whole way through. We read bits and pieces. So we can just sit through and look through a highlights or a Ranger Rick and see what's new with those. I also have tiny theologian things. I don't, I don't really know <laughs> what everything is called. This one here, um, I want to say it was called Men of Faith Pack, something like that. If you are a Christian, I highly recommend looking into Tiny Theologians. They have some cute sets. Let me show you their little thing. With each order, now not each set, each order, you'll get a bag. So, and you can order an extra one if you want. There's dogs going nuts, sorry. Um, so we have, I'll show you the first one. Martin Luther, and a quote, and then on the back, um, some information about him. We have John Wick Wycliffe. The cards are almost soft. You know the NARS, maybe not, the NARS um, soft touch packaging that they have. It almost feels like soft touch paper, but it's cardstock. I don't know. It's actually really well done. So anyways, so we got the pack of men of faith, men of something. There's a women of faith as well that I want to get, um, but I bought, just bought these to start out. We use these with Poetry Tea Time and he really enjoyed them. I threw them in here. We may use them here. I may also take them out and use them at Poetry Tea Time. We'll have to see how long the basket takes and how that all works. I also, in addition to that, I bought two sets. Now I have not used these, so I can't really speak about them from experience, but they looked good. The ABCs of theology. Um, so it truly goes through the alphabet. So there even would be really pretty to display. So A is for atonement. And then it tells you, gives you the definition and then a Bible verse. Again, cardstock. This is not that soft touch paper. This would be just a heavy cardstock. And then I got scripture memory. This was neat because it goes through levels. So you have the same verse and different. So level one, there's only two blanks. You have the same verse and as you learn it, now there's more blanks, if that makes sense. So the kids can read it from level one and start to memorize it and work through the level of the cards to memorize it that way. So, how do I show this? There's not that many. My only disappointment is I thought there were gonna be more Bible verses for the number, number of cards, but because each verse has several cards with it, different levels, it makes it look like there's more than there is. I don't think it really matters. I was just surprised. Sorry, it's like 100 degrees in here, I'm so hot. So we shall see how all that works. And again, will this scripture be, I probably won't introduce a memory verse at our basket time. I'm probably gonna introduce it at Bible and then we can practice it at morning basket, if that makes sense. So on to the next. I threw this in. Mozzie loves this little book. He got it from his grandpa. It's catechism. I had no real intentions of going through catechism with him, but he loves this little book. He likes to, the question and answer format. I threw it in here. If he wants to do it, we'll do it. If not, we're probably not going to. So we're very flexible. Hang tight. I also have in here, yikes a devotional. If you saw any of our videos from last year, I bought this. It's very cute. It's very fast. It's all about um, science. So if you're a child of science and weird cool facts, this is great. Um, so I added this in. We will probably do this 
over this. But again, I threw it in here. We'll see. I'm assuming we'll, I'll probably start out with this for the first trimester and maybe into the second and then end the year with this. Theology, it's really good. Also short, but a lot deeper. So I kind of want more of a foundation with maybe going through the ABCs of theology first before we get into this. So we will see. Again, all of this is just ideas of what we could do in our morning basket as opposed to this is concrete, this is what we're doing. Last two things. This we are definitely doing. We did this last year. I even introduced this in preschool. I love this book. I highly recommend it. We got it from, you can get it through Amazon, I believe. Got it from Mozzie's grandma. And it is just so cute. They have the greatest illustrations and the cutest poems. So he and I actually memorize a poem every month to go with the month that we're in. So we already read September. And I just think they are so cute. So if you have, definitely appropriate if you have the four seasons. If you don't have the four seasons, snow and fall and all that may not really make that much sense to your kids. But for us, it's like this is exactly what our seasons and our world looks like during those months. It's really kind of cool. So I highly recommend this. This would also be good for if you do poetry tea time. And then the last thing is ABC, see, hear, do. Mozzie is a um, reluctant reader. I've talked about this before many times. He can read, he doesn't like it. He has mastered this book. So I thought I would add this in so that he gets more confident with reading. He can read this to me uh, maybe just once a week. So he feels like he reads a whole book on his own and maybe he'll, that'll help build his confidence to branch out and read other things. So that is what is in here. I also threw these in, but again, it's just a reminder to pick out some like shorter reads. These are super short chapter books, but kind of, you know, hardly chapter books. They're very short. If you've never read Mr. Putter, Mr. Putter and Tabby books, you are missing out. They are so flipping cute. They are hard to find, but they are cute. So anyways, that is our morning basket. It seems like a lot, but again, we're cherry picking what we want out of here and we'll see what works, what sticks. We might rearrange things, add things back into the subjects. We will see. I'm excited about it. I think it'll work better for us than to piling too much into a certain subject. Um, and I think it'll just be a really quick, easy way to break into school each day without sitting down and doing book work right away or whatever it is we're doing. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day and a great school week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.